Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you for our time together. Please don't forget, this is Revival Night at South Campus. Again, I'm preaching on your life planted by the river of God. Right now, I want to talk to you about decisions for marriage. Young men, oftentimes, they, they look around the auditorium and they're looking for a beautiful young Christian girl to marry, or and they go completely on, what does she look like? It, does she have the face of an angel? It's, it's all about appearance. But one of the things I challenge young men to look at is um, what kind of a family does she come from? And I challenge young lady, I don't care how guapo he is, what kind of a family does he come from? I want you to notice with me. In 2 Kings chapter 8, begin with verse 17. Jehoram was 32 years old when he became king. And he reigned in Jerusalem eight years. But Jehoram followed the example of the kings of Israel and was just as wicked as King Ahab, for he had married one of Ahab's daughters. Now look at Ahaziah in uh, chapter 8, beginning with all verse 26. Ahaziah was 22 years old when he became king. And he reigned in Jerusalem one year. His mother was Athaliah, a granddaughter of the King Omri of Israel. Ahaziah followed the example of King Ahab's family. He did what was evil in the Lord's sight, just as Ahab's family had done, for he was related by marriage to the family of Ahab. You can never comprehend the influence of the person you sleep with until after you're married. When you sleep with a woman every night, when you live with a woman every day, she has incredible influence upon the ethics, the morals, and the standards of your life. When you sleep with a man every day, you live with a man every day, he has tremendous influence on the ethics, the morals, and the standards of your life. I've watched wonderful Christian young people grow up and marry into a family that is just, mm, and then I've watched them slowly change. You say, well, why don't they change them for good? You know, it doesn't ever seem to work like that. It seems that evil can change good, but good doesn't change evil. Only God can change the heart of people. Now, young people, I challenge you today, when you, you start looking around to, to find who you're going to spend your life with, don't just look at the face. Don't just listen to their happiness and do they make you laugh. Uh, go visit the family. Young ladies, tell the guy, I want to I visit your family. I want to meet your mom and dad. Young men, go to the home and court the young lady at home and meet her mom and dad and ask yourself the question, is this what I really want to marry into? Because the family culture you marry into does affect you.